ain't seen them. I would act a straight fool with some curls. He knew the humble me was. <laughs> I went to Chipotle. Chipotle. And I went and got me a burrito because I really wanted a burrito. Then I stopped at Chick fil A because I was like, I don't know if Chipotle has unsweet tea. And when I didn't see any. And so I was like, I'll just stop at Chipotle. I mean, Chick fil A and get me some unsweet tea. So that's what I ended up doing. And I, while I was there, I was like, let me grab a fresh bowl of fruits. So that's what I will be eating. I'm going to try that today, girlfriend. So, oh, and I got me. Let me make some room. Okay. Because why not? Why not have some awesome chips and pizza? And this is like my first video that I've ever done in the car because I was like, you know, I want to try it in the car. I want to see how it feels. I want to see the vibe. I want to see what everybody feels when they're doing this in the car. So while I was at Chipotle, I also got queso for the chips and I mean <laughs> guacamole and then queso for the chips. So I will be eating that. I need to get that little tray thing that sits right here. I need to get me that. But I'm going to try these chips and guess chips. I'm going to work my way with trying the, the queso. But check it out. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Honestly, I wish people didn't put salt on the chips or or fries. It kind of just gave salt away. That would be a good option. But here goes their queso. Mm. To me, their queso tastes so good. Mm. That's good. So, that's my first time trying it out in the car. I feel the vibes. I can see. It kind of just gives you like a decompression time. At least that's how I feel. With no distraction around. Just you, your food, and just people watch while they're walking around. Oh, I found a spot over here in the Roth parking lot. <laughs> This is behind Chipotle. So, yeah. Mm. That's so good. Let's see if it's fresh. <clears throat> God said, unsweet tea. She gave me sweet. Jesus. That's why that was the whole point of me getting unsweet tea because I didn't want no sugar. But I got it. Not my deal. Anyhow, so I got the garlic steak burrito. Yo, this burrito is so good. So I got the garlic steak burrito from, Chipo from Chipotle with um, the fajita vegetable vegetables, um, corn, sour cream, cheese, and lettuce. Let me tell y'all. That sucker hits the spot, right? It's simple, but it just hits the spot for me. And I absolutely, this burrito goes hard. Like, in this area, this burrito goes really hard. I don't think I ever had a burrito that was like, oh, yeah, that's the one, like, how this one is with me. So, mmm, mmm, and brown rice. Oh, my God. Brown rice. Mm. 
Mm. That's freaking awesome. I'm definitely gonna give me that chair, that um tray. <laughs> the tray that sits right there. That way, I won't have no problems with my food. I can put it right in front of me. Today is my. Today I go back to work tonight. I feel a lot better compared to them when I was at work. And I got home, I felt like extremely tired. But somebody back there. Hmm. But I feel a lot better compared to Tuesday. So I'm ready for work. I'm ready. I'm ready to take on this week coming up. Next week is payday. Um, next week is a, is a new month. Good old February. What's your name for Valentine's? I'll be with you. To be honest, I don't really celebrate Valentine's. It's like, I mean, when I was younger, I felt like, oh, that's cute, but it's just not my thing. Really, just not my time. But I like to watch everybody. You know, all the stuff they get and. The kids and. What they do. I think that's cute. Ooh. <laughs> Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, but I'm ready for work, uh, to be honest with you guys, like, I'm for real, like, I'm a workaholic, work, 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 work is my thing, you know, plus I've always been about taking care of the operations, so that's the other one. Mm. This freaking burrito is so I'm good. Look at the vegetables. If y'all haven't had Chipotle, try this garlic steak burrito. Boom. You build your own, so try out. This year. It started off perfectly. And I'm all for it. Mm. This is so good. But I'm all for 
positivity, you know? And, and blessings. I'm just trying to be a better person, better than I was last year, better than my past. Goals. It's not really that busy in here. Oh, this is freaking delicious. That tea will have to do. I really like unsweet tea. Mm -mm. Sweet tea is not my thing. But I will do. Mm, I got my passport, so I'm hoping to travel to go see my brother. This year. I'm gonna go get um go catch him out. Go see him and his wife overseas. Go hang out with him. Spend like two weeks with him. Pull some content for y'all. But yeah, I hope y'all go hang out with him. vibes though a car vibe mukbang i feel it <laughs> i woke up this morning well my dude said back to me this morning like i think i like three something then i went back to sleep and kalani woke me up oh my god i took her out fair Do a little bit of laundry. Mm. I do a little laundry and then watched um you people on Netflix. And then I was like, let me get up and go get me something to eat and I'm gonna try car mukbang today. But I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I like the car mug mines. Y'all might get it. I might even make my dinner and make my plate and everything and run into the car just to eat it. <laughs> Do my mug <mukbang. laughs> I like I like the privacy. I like no distraction. I I I'm feeling this car vibe. I really am. Just find a good spot. Park that. I mean, pretty much just alone. You know? I see everybody driving by, but they're all just going to wherever they're going to in their life. I really just drive my shit. And yesterday was a really good day. Me and my boo we went out. kind of just spoiled ourselves you know because it's very rare that i buy anything for me like material wise like clothes and that sort of thing i don't wear makeup um my mom has always been against me wearing makeup so um, i like the simplicity you know and my hair well it used to be long like down to my butt but And then I would cut it up. And I had a bob before, but <clears throat> I didn't have curly hair like this. I had straight and a little bit wavy. And that was it. 
But I had was diagnosed with cancer and I went through chemo and stuff. And when I had the chemo, I lost my hair. I went completely bald. I barely had eyebrows. I barely had any eyebrows. I didn't have any eyelashes. Like my eyelashes are little as is. But when it was time for my hair, my hair was growing back. Like my hair grew back all curly, this curly. Um, it just has some issues, <laughs> like completely growing on just my edges. So I make do. And I, I like my hair short because where I'm at, uh, work-wise. So, um, those were my life decisions. I think God knew not to give me curls when I was younger. I think mean, he knew. I would act a straight fool with some curls. And because my curls now, it's like them tight curls too. He knew to humble me was. <laughs> I feel like he knew to humble me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my God, and I forgot. Thank you for the food. That... Thank you for the hands that prepared the food, Lord. Thank you for the food and the nourishment. Thank you, Lord. I can I always forget. I don't know. Thank you, Lord. I'm sorry. I'll be at telling you I'm sorry. All the way in my purse tonight, going to work. Thank you, Lord. Amen. <laughs> But I swear to you, I told my, my co-workers were asking me about my hair. Because I had it longer. I had the curls grew, grown out. And I and I just, one day I just went to my bar, my beautician. And I was like, I need to cut this. Trim it down. I don't want to touch in my collar. It's like, I got you. I said, trim down my baby hair. I got you, Carmen. And then, <laughs> and then I went to work. I had it all like, you know edge control and everything doop, doop. had it all done and then my color is like okay i see you Lou. <laughs> i was like you know god knew better to give me some new curl hair when i was younger because i think i would have acted a freaking fool they all started laughing but i really do i really do so i'm very um glad that <laughs> i have curly hair now i really love my curls they're they're to me they're just they're just beautiful And I like my hair short. Like this. It took me a little time to get used to because some people be like, Hey man, hey sir. I'm be like, okay, Felicia. I've worked in customer service before, you know what I mean? So I came across where I couldn't tell. So I would just be like, hey, how are you? Until I heard the voice. But I didn't get upset. I was just like, okay, police. On to the next one. It is what it is. I understand it. You know, one day I went. And I just came from the store, right? So I just came from the store and I got a hundred dollar bill. So I went to go have some seafood with my homegirls. I went was out in San Antonio. So I had some seafood with my homegirls. And I went to go pay. Cause I just wanted my homegirls company. I didn't, you know. So I went to go pay. I used the hundred dollar bill I got from the store. And I know this store because my mama used to work at well, she was working there as a child. So if you work at retail, you can distinguish and know the old school $100 bills. Like the old school $100 bills. And I used to work retail. So I knew the old school $100 bills. So um, the store gave me the $100 bill. I used that to cash 
and pay for the dinner. And they like came up to me and they were young, mind you. They weren't a part of the generation where I was. I was born in the 80s. So they were young working there at this. Uh, oh my God, I can't remember where it was. Anyhow, at the seafood joint. Um, So she was like, ma'am, uh, this hundred dollar bill is fake. I was like, in my mind, I instantly knew one, <laughs> she's young, and two, you know, she doesn't, she can't distinguish this hundred dollar bill. Like, she, I don't think she, she, like, from what she said, she's never seen it. One, I knew I was old. <laughs> so, I was like, what? And she was like, I've never seen this $100 bill. <laughs> I mean, it was old, y'all. It was an old $100 bill. Like, back in the day, they, like, OG $100 bill. That was it. So, she was talking about. You know, do you have another form of payment? I mean, of course I do. You know, I'm just paying because it's f the freaking cash I had on hand. So, <clears throat> I pay. I had to go to a store that I got it from. I know it's good. And my home girls were looking at me, and I was like, "Let's just pay it with the hair." Here's my card. You can use that. So I go to the store, of course. So I go back to the store, and I'm I'm like, "Yo, mom," and she's like, "What happened?" I go. I got this $100 bill. Now, I know it's legit. But the girl was so young, she didn't realize that it's an old school $100 bill. So, she runs it through her safe again. Because, I don't know, the safe that they had, they were able to just put the $100, the bills in. And it'll, it'll check for counterfeit. And it won't process through the safe if it's counterfeit. So she put it around and whoop, it went right through. And then I ended up using it somewhere else and they took it. So I'm like, they were just young, you know? I didn't get mad. I was just like, okay. One time I did get kind of get annoyed was when I went to a Walmart. And everything was bagged in its bag. It's maybe like a total of like 15 items. Everything was in its bag. It was nothing all bulky. I had the receipt. Went through the self-checkout. Paid everything. Was going through the door. And then the lady asked for the receipt. So um, my dude gave her the receipt. And she's all like, I don't see this item on here. I was like, Lord, why today? Today got to be the day, Lord. So then I'm, I'm like, it's on there. It's in the bag. She was like, oh, I don't see it. So I'm like, dude. And I already know my dude, he's going to be like, calm down, man. Just calm down. And I'm like, let, let me chill a little bit. Because, I mean, one, you're, I instantly took it like, why are you going to say, oh, I don't see it. Find it throughout all the items. Since you're going to stop us and take all this time. Find it throughout all the items before you go and say something. Just kind of a little bit, you know, oh, I don't see it. I know I scanned all the items, so I don't have a problem. But you're going to make it a problem when you falsely say, oh, I can't find it. Like basically saying, oh, you got the, ma'am, just find it in the items. It's there. There's only three items of the same thing. It's there. She found it after X amount of minutes. And then I was just like, I just walked off. Like, ain't nobody got time for you, girl. But she's like, oh, oh, there it goes. I'm like, I need them to investigate first. Before we go saying some craziness. But yeah. I'm getting older. I'm about to be 40 soon. Maybe in like two years. <sighs> 40 in two years. And I'm for it.
<clears throat> mm-hmm. Almost down to the last. Thought of the other day, I was thinking about making spam musu bean. If I make too much, or if I make a big batch, by accident, I hit it up my dispatcher, Smith or Cortez, and I, I'm like, hey, y'all want some? And then most normally, like, yes. And yesterday, I made baked spaghetti. I sent the bowl to the lieutenant. Because he was on ship. I don't really relieve him. But he was on ship. So I was like, let me send some to him. Because <laughs> I made a big pot. Of I need a little hand portion control. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, Chipotle. This is our thing with this, this garlic steak. Because to be honest with you, I had stopped eating Chipotle because I just felt like it was just so salty with the other meats. Like, it was just too salty for me. So, a few weeks back, me and my dude went out to go eat and we, we picked Chipotle. I figured one, well, let me try them out. It's been it's been quite a while. And I thought it had this new steak and I was like I'm gonna try that steak. And it did not taste salty. <clears throat> I'm not talking about just a little bit of salt. I mean there's 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 times a lot of the meat that I had eaten at Chipotle, it literally tastes like somebody woke up in a bad mood and just dropped a whole bottle of salt in the meat and i was just like oh it's just too salty for my taste y'all there goes my blood pressure so yeah honestly i want some of my vegetables to be honest all right let's see what this guy in store for me oops i don't you know i don't know why i'm grabbing mm -hmm. I don't need that. Oh my gosh. Okay, Chick fil A. Oh, these are so good. Oh, they have blueberries. This looks like red apples and green apples, strawberries, blueberries. And these, um, are these clementines or clementine I smell like a banana in here I don't see it I must be myself mm. that is so good nice and refreshing So, yeah, everybody just drive it down. Mm -mm. Dude, these blueberries are really good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Where's that orange at? I'm not, I'm not really too much of a big apple fan. 
I never really have been. <clears throat> and I haven't really been a, a bl blueberry fan until recently with the blueberries. The like apples, not really. Pineapples, I'll put it. Hmm. So delicious. Anyhow, y'all. Humful. Humful. That burrito was delicious. So if you guys ever get a chance, check out Chipotle if you haven't. And tried that garlic steak. It's perfect. And yeah, let's see. The Chick-fil-A. Oh, they didn't post it. Normally, like, you know when you go and you give them your name? And they normally have a sticker. I mean, I mean, we've been there so many times. And my name is, like, always chopped up. I mean, I've dealt with that my whole life because of my last name. So I'm just like, okay, Malisha. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat. Anyhow, y'all, I'm out. Uh, thank you for tuning in. And thank you for watching all the way until the end. And if you haven't had a chance, stop by Chipotle. Get you a garlic uh, steak burrito. <coughs> Check out their queso try their chips and stop by over there at chick-fil-a and get you a fruit bowl to finish up anyhow i'll see you guys later Oof. let me get home y'all be safe bye y'all